All right, guys, new intro here for the Bear Pack. We hit 10,000 subscribers again. We want to thank everybody again. Trey, if you want to pull that 10,000 subscribers up, if you guys comment Llama on any of our videos up until Super Bowl, you will be entered into winning $1,000 from us. The only catch is, come Super Bowl Sunday, you have to be in the chat to claim the prize. We're going to have a live at halftime. You have to be in the chat to claim the prize, and you have to comment Llama on any of the videos up until the Super Bowl. We also have 12,000 subs coming right around the bend. We're at 10,200. We're going to give away two tickets to anybody, to any game they want, NBA, NFL, college basketball. It doesn't matter. We can wait until the new season for NFL. Any game you want to go, whenever we get to 12K, we're going to have that uh, giveaway coming up as well. We also have a new game. It's going to be Trey and myself versus the Bear Pack. You can call it Pros versus Joes if you want. I don't really like the name because I don't consider us pros. I don't consider you guys Joes. But, Trey, if you want to go to the YouTube channel, this is how you guys play. You're going to go to our YouTube channel. You're going to hit the community tab. We've been in the community tab a lot this season. Uh, you're going to go to the community tab. We have our plays for the day. So, obviously, the intro is not going to have plays for today. But these are our plays for our next video. It's the Pelicans minus 2.5, the Heat minus 5, Quinnipiac minus 4.5, and Wisconsin minus 10.5. Those are Trey's and myself's plays. What you guys are going to do is pick which one you think will not hit, meaning you're going to fade us, which is pros versus Joes, which is the game called. But you guys are going to try to pick which one is not going to hit. If you guys win, you're going to get a point. If we win, we're going to get a point. We're going to run it Friday through Friday every single week. Whichever team has the most wins, so 4-3, to 6-2, to two, whatever it is, that person or group will win fifty dollars. If the community wins, we're gonna do a wheel spin for the community. If we win, I don't know how we're gonna get our I don't know how we're gonna get our cheddar, but uh you guys are just gonna have to subscribe, I guess, more. But that's the game. Hopefully everybody understands it. Trey, let's get into the video. All right, guys, let's get some NCAA basketball picks and props for Saturday, January 20th slate of games. Trey, let's take a let, uh, look at that leaderboard. But before we do, we still have the pros versus Joe's game we're doing. Uh, we put that up yesterday in the community tab. You guys picked the Pelicans minus two and a half to fade. Uh, all you guys have to do Friday through Friday, it's a seven game series. Uh, we're going to have one winner per week. It's a $50 giveaway. If you guys win, you get $50. If we win, we don't get anything. We just get to say we won. Uh, but, yeah, that's in the community tab. Go vote for that. The picks are up for the place today. So just go to the community tab on our YouTube page and vote for that play. Trey, let's go to the leaderboard. Have you start us off. Yeah, guys, at the moment, I'm 0-1-0. I gave out Quinnipiac, minus 4.5 against Siena. Some people saying we don't watch the games. I always post that I watch the games as I'm giving a recap if it's on. And at the moment, Quinnipiac, they are just dog walking Sienna. Don't want to jinx anything. I uh, don't want to knock on wood either because I have confidence in this play. Uh, Quinnipiac, they're just going to just steamroll the rest of the way and cover for us. Yeah, and I've got Wisconsin minus 10.5 at home going up against Indiana. They have not tipped off yet. We got a few more hours for them to tip off. I'm very confident with Wisconsin as well. So hopefully we suit the board. Trey, let's look at the plays for tomorrow. Have you start us off? Yeah, guys, I'm going to be attacking this Youngstown State going up against Detroit Mercy Gaming. This is going to be a very fun game to watch. One team, they're trying to win their conference, and the other team, they're just trying to simply win a game. Youngstown State, they come in this game with a 13-6 and six record. They're also 8-7 and seven ATS in the Penguins. They are 3-5 and five on the road this season. And Detroit Mercy, guys, buckle up. They are 0-19, and, and they are 5-14 and 14 ATS as well. That is no bueno. And they are Titans. They are also 0-6 at home this season. This season, it has just been brutal for Detroit Mercy. Exactly how brutal? Well, so brutal, they are the sixth worst team in the Kin Palm rankings. That's just not good. In fact, Youngstown State, they are 210 spots ahead of Detroit Mercy on the Kin Palm. This game's going to get ugly, guys. Give me Youngstown State here. I'm going to take them at minus 10 and a half here in this game. I'm going to buy a half point. These two offenses could not be any more further apart from each other. The Penguins, they average 81 points per game. And Detroit Mercy, they only average 63. That is an 18-point-per-game difference. And whenever we look at this matchup historically, Youngstown State dominates it because Youngstown State, they are 4-0 versus Detroit Mercy over the last four games, winning those four games by an average score of 78-69. to But Detroit Mercy, with those games, they had Antonio Davis in those. If you guys forgot about him, last season averaging 30-plus, the season before that, 30-plus, the season before that. 30 plus. Well, he was the second leading scorer in NCAA history. Well, he's gone now, and now we have seen what happens with Detroit Mercy without him. 0 19. They're going to make that 0 20 here in this game pretty easily. Give me Youngstown State here, minus 10 and a half versus Detroit Mercy. Love it, Trey. Love the play there. For my play today, I'm going to be looking at Georgia going up against Kentucky. I'm going to take the over 159 and a half as the play. I talked about Kentucky a little bit on the uh, member side a couple nights ago whenever they played up against Mississippi State. 
Watching them play the last two games against Texas A&M and Mississippi State, it made me take a future on them to win the national title, plus 1,400. Defensively speaking, Kentucky, they did, a, they did a little bit. They took a little bit of a step forward in the last game against Mississippi State, but on the season, they've been horrible, and they can get away with that being horrible on that side of the ball because offensively, they're the best team in the country. They're the number one ranked team in the nation, scoring over 90 points per game. They do it with constant, nonstop fast breaks. Everything that Kentucky does on a make, on a miss, it's run the floor, find the man, get an open, easy open layup, or find a man in the corner. And I told Trey the other day, and I really thank Kentucky whenever they actually have to set up the offense. They're very effective doing that because teams, they rarely see Kentucky run an actual offense because they're so fast-paced. Kentucky, they've now scored 90-plus points in four of the last five games, and they scored 87 points in the game. They didn't score 90 in those five games. They put up 90-plus points against two teams who I believe have built their entire programs about defense. Texas A&M and Mississippi State, 90-plus points against those two teams in back-to-back -back games. And this game, they're going up against Georgia, who has had a great year so far. They're also scoring a ton of points, 70-plus points in five consecutive games. And in the head-to-head -head between these two teams over the last five meetings, the over's hitting four of those five games. Give me the over here. It's going to be a shootout, 159.5 as the play. Trey, let's go to the props. Have you start us off. Yeah, guys, at the moment, I am 0-0. I give out Quincy Olivari, over 26.5 PRAs versus Georgetown. That game is at halftime, and Olivari has 14 points. And Xavier, they're actually down at the moment, but kind of mm -hmm. like that because I feel like Olivari is going to have to put on a Superman cape, and he's going to hit this in the second half. Let's go. And you know, I have Isaiah Stevens with Colorado State to go under 17.5 total points against UNLV. Hopefully we can sweep the board. Let's do it again tomorrow. Trey, start us off. Yeah, guys, I'm going to go with all reliable here. Give me Kyle Filipowski to go over his points versus Pittsburgh. I really love this over for Filipowski here in this game. Because we've seen him just have another dominant season for Duke, averaging 18.2 points per game, which is the 76th highest in college basketball. And Filipowski, he is simply just a skilled human being because he checks in at 7 feet tall, weighs 250 pounds, and he is very athletic. But I love this over for a couple of reasons. The first one is this is a home game, and his shooting splits all go up at home, and so does his points per game, up to 18.6 points per game. But the second reason and the main reason why I love this play is because of his of his matchup here versus Pittsburgh because historically Filipowski dominates the Panthers. He's faced off against them three times so far in his young career, and he is averaging 25.5 points per game across those three matchups. And Filipowski, I expect him to easily be able to reach 20 plus points here in this game because Pittsburgh, they're coming into this one on a two game losing streak and coming into Cameron indoor. That is just game set match there, guys. Give me Kyle Filipowski to be the driving force. I'm going to take him to go over his points versus Pittsburgh. Yeah, Trey, I like that one as well. For my player prop today, I'm going to take Jabri Abdur Rahim to go over his total points going up against Kentucky. I watched Jabri play in the game against Tennessee whenever Dalton Connect found a way to get the Volunteers all the way back in the second half. They won the game. In that game against Tennessee, they talked about his dad who played in the NBA, and they were making a bunch of comparisons to his dad, uh, which is normal because he plays a lot like him. But in that game, he put in 21 points, and that was his second best performance of the season, hitting five of his nine three-point attempts. Jabri is a three-point specialist for the Georgia Bulldogs, taking six plus threes in seven consecutive games. And on the year, he's shooting 41.5% from deep, and I love him to go over this number if he can just knock down a few of his open shots. Kentucky defensively this season, they've had their problems, and they have allowed 70-plus points in five consecutive games. They also gave up 85 points to Florida, 97 points to Texas A&M in two of the last four games. This game's going to be a shootout, and I'd like Jabri to knock down some of his open threes and go over his total points. Probably going to be set pretty low, 11.5, 10.5 maybe. If he makes three or four threes, we already cashed. So give me Jabri. Raheem to go over his total points as the play. Trey, let's go to the graphic. Have you start us off? Yeah, guys, I'm going to go with Youngstown State here, minus 10 and a half versus Detroit Mercy. This line's too low. It could not set this line up high enough. Uh, it's going to be a brutal game to watch, but fun for us because it's going to be cash. Also going with Kyle Filipowski to go over his points versus Pittsburgh. He just dominates the Panthers. Uh, this is just going to be another game on his register. Yeah, and I'm going with the over 159.5 between Kentucky and Georgia. That game's going to soar over if, if we get the same basketball we've had over the last two or three weeks. And they give me Jabri Abdur Rahim to go over his total points. Probably going to be in the low teens, and I love that number for the three-point specialist. Guys, that's going to do it for the NCAA basketball plays and props for Saturday, January 20th slate of games. If you guys enjoyed the content, please be sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel below. See you guys next video, and thanks for watching. Look at the leaderboard. We had multiple questions this morning about how to become a member for the YouTube channel. Let's do that really quick tutorial. You're going to go to YouTube.com. You're going to go to Bears Profit Plays. You're going to search it in. You're going to hit our thing. There's a join button right just to the right of the subscribe. You're going to click that. There's two options. You have the Bear Pack for $4.99. That gives you access to YouTube member plays. 
And then you have the Bear Pack Gold for $7.99 a month. That gives you access to our member plays on YouTube, and it gives you a one-month membership to our website, bearsprofitplays.com. So if you get the Bear Pack Gold, you save yourself 2 bucks a month, a little bit cheaper if you want to do that. But that is the tutorial for anybody that needed it. We had multiple questions today through email about how to do it, and it wasn't working. But if you want to know, there it is right there. Trey, 